<laughs> wow, look! You're a naughty <laughs> breeding man. <laughs> Girls so young and cute. How you? How old what? are you? <laughs> this is heaven. Oh, this guy is so disgusting. <sighs> Should I really have brought him here? Let me oh, test. Yuma. Let's see. He go. Ish. Huh? <laughs> Yuma, he really Over came. Over Okay. I was nervous throughout my classes, thinking you might have stood me up. I wouldn't ditch you like that. What happened before this? The job this you requested he just me to the very got discussed by Desihiko. <laughs> I knew I could count on a master detective. Um, about that. Listen, the truth is. Wait, Yuma. Something's wrong. There's a suspicious person over there. <laughs> oh, that's my senior. Or a friend, I guess. Huh? Is he also a master detective? He's not what I expected. Why is he staring at the other students? Um, he's preparing to use his forte, I think. Huh? Oh, what's up? Are you talking about me? <laughs> you must be Kurumi. I heard all about you from Yuma. I. Superstar Detective Desuhiko Thunderbolt! Woo! <laughs> nice to meet ya! That is not a good sure. introduction. Now about the details of the job. If possible, I'd like to see where it happened in person. Do you think we can get inside? So you're starting the investigation. It may be hard for an outsider to get in the school. Even family members can't enter without a teacher's permission. Wow, well, looks like you're in trouble already. But I've come fully prepared to save my lost little kittens. Just watch. All right. How good of a job <laughs> do you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you come too. Me too? Huh? Of course. Don't worry about it. Just bring me here. You can fit two people in there. Superstar Detective Desuhiko. Why you boy doesn't huh? change? So the cute girl next to you is Yuma? Oh, why me? Are you really the same people? You didn't just switch out with someone? Kurumi, if someone talks to you on your way home, don't follow them, okay? Damn. Just kidding. This is my forte, disguise. I seared the image of this lady teacher into my mind as I passed her by earlier. That's amazing! So this is the forte of a master detective! I know, right? Isn't my voice just irresistible? <laughs> I'll let you be my fan. <laughs> if you join the after party, I'll even whisper in your ear if you want. Cute. <laughs> he got ignored off completely. Now we just look like friends when we're together. Uh, yeah. Hey! Oh, wait for me! I don't want some flat-chested uggo as a friend! We should be good now. Let's go inside. Yeah, like an undercover investigation. Tisha, Tisha, please move. Be sure to go straight home. <laughs> Isn't it weird that teacher carried that back? I go jumped off the roof of this school building. Hmm. Why don't we go up there to look? 
How about we visit the theater club first? We're about to do a rehearsal on the school stage right now. Are you this in the school theater, has its own theater club huh? too? That's right. If we go there, you can see what it's like at the club I go attended. Let's take a look while we still can. Doesn't you take care of that. I'll go check another spot. Another Listen to this guy. Not coming with Stay us. for one minute. I stand out when I carry the backpack. I need to hide it someplace safe first. Don't worry about me and uh, do what you gotta do. <laughs> I've set up your shot, so you better not miss. Uh, what do you See mean you by later, that? My man. I think he's misunderstanding something. Is it really okay for him to go off on zone? Let's go, Yuma. Oh, wait. Do you have a girl name now? Uh, what should it be? Y Yuma's fine. <laughs> Shinigami. <laughs> She's so mad. The theater hall is this way. Follow me, Yuma. Well, I think one minute is for the Sihiko, but for us, we just change our clothes and put on some padding. It should stay on forever until we change back, I think. Yeah. Well, oh, I can get score for this. Nah. Don't get sidetracked, don't get sidetracked. It's very proper, like a real theater. Yeah. Right? The whole school gives a lot of attention to the theater club. There are four performances throughout the year, and people outside of the school sometimes come to watch. Damn. Kane Ward doesn't have many options for entertainment, so our school's theater is very popular. That's why the battle to be the main lead is so intense. The star of the theater club becomes the star of Kane Ward. Ooh. So it's seen as much more than a club activity. Yeah, it's yes, like idol. This or something. isn't just a single page of our youth. Everyone's competing as if their lives depend on it. A lot of them come from affluent or powerful families and take pride in being members of the elite. Sounds like everyone's always on edge. They're very graceful and don't show their true feelings while on stage, though. Shall we go in? Okay, let's go in and see. Ooh. Oh, they're rehearsing. Everyone's so busy, they didn't even notice us coming in without permission. This is the stage rehearsal, after all. It's treated like the main performance itself. They leave the curtains open and allow people to watch. More ah. students should show up to watch shortly. I think it's gonna be few to this atmosphere. Then. It makes me nervous. <laughs> Why are you getting nervous when you won't even be on stage? We're only here to find out the truth behind Aiko's death. Let's search carefully. Wait. That's no way to talk to a master detective. Sorry, I'm starting to talk to you like any other friend. Well, that is best. It's alright. Right. It helps me blend in. Huh? So it's alright to be friendlier? I'll go all out if you don't mind. <laughs> sure. <sighs> I wish you were dead. I wish you'd die in a lake with your feet sticking out. <laughs> oh, Yuma. All four of them are here together right now. And four, four, four Shinikami need to watch this rom The four members of the theater club <laughs> that I think have something to do with Aiko's death. See? They're on stage right now. The two in costumes are the main leads this time. The blonde, high-class looking girl on the right is Karen. Karen? That's not a good name. The other protagonist, Waruna. The 
below the stage is the honor student, Yoshiko. The one keeping a low profile in the Windbreaker is Kurame. You think those four are suspicious? Why? I have my reasons. Huh, you don't want to share it? Eh? Look at Karin, the classy one. Her beauty is unbelievable for a high schooler. The moment Aiko was gone, she had no problem climbing to the top. She has a strong fervor for acting, and seems to have no interest in making friends with others. I suppose you could say she's the uncooperative type who only thinks about herself. Her yeah. father has a lot of influence she had in real estate, so he applies lots of pressure too. <laughs> so, you think that's why she took down Aiko to become the main lead? I hate to say it, but I think it's possible. It's just a possibility. It's true that this Karen does have an extraordinary grace to her. But I think that dour look on her face reveals her inner thoughts. Am I really walking down the right path? Did I wind up somewhere I'm not meant to be? Oh. I can almost hear her thinking that. In some ways, she's a lot like me. I would say that you might have a really... Good? No, excellent. Fair reading. He can read fair other people really well and can tell what is what. Huh? How are you alike? You sure don't look classy yourself. <laughs> I'll ignore that. The other lead, Waruna, is the kind that only does what she wants on her own terms. But she can play any role like she's a true genius. Oh. She's still rough around the edges according to critics. But she doesn't seem to care about what others think of her. An all round. Hmm. She's the kind who doesn't hold back when it comes to getting what she wants and doesn't care what anyone thinks. As you can imagine, she's always butting heads with someone. Lorna would never admit defeat, ever. That's why everyone else is afraid of her, and she only talks to a few girls who follow her around. If someone with that kind of pushy personality got into an argument with Aiko... You're saying it's not out of character for her to take more drastic measures? Mm. Yes. It's a bit of a stretch, but considering how she did become one of the main leads... She could be considered suspicious. Yeah, that's that's Yoshiko below the stage. Quite a lot. She's an actress, but she's managing the stagehands as production assistant this time. Okay, I will be right back. I need to go to the toilet.
back. All right. Uh, okay. Everyone is talking about how Karin will be the next big star. But within the theater club, Yoshiko is more popular by an overwhelming degree. She prioritizes the team over the individual. She's a kind, mild-mannered honor student. The only reason the theater club is able to function is thanks to her leadership. And you think someone like her could have killed Aiko? I don't personally suspect her that much, but... Aiko used to be the club's leader. After she died, Yoshiko picked up right where she left off. I believe she's the only one who could ever take over Aiko's role. So Yoshiko maybe felt Aiko had what she thought was rightfully hers. But would she resort to murder to change that? I don't want to believe she would, but I can't say it's impossible. Kurane, the one in the wings wearing the Windbreaker, manages the light since she wasn't chosen for a lead role. Hmm. But when it comes to pure acting ability, she's one of the best. I guess you could say but, her but acting she's, method is she distinct. The read then. Like she's the only one who can do what she does. It's more like no one really knows what she's thinking. She's often alone in class, too. Do you think she's also a suspect? She always aims for the lead role. Besides, who knows what she's thinking? <laughs> That's not so a you're good saying reason. maybe she actually despised Aiko and tried to take out her competition? Maybe. It's why I consider her another suspect. I see. All right then. The main shit, 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 shit. One moment. My uh, what do you call? Capture device just designed to stop working. Okay. I'm sure they'd be mad if they heard me, but yes, I do. Though the four of them are rivals, they weren't particularly hostile to each other before. However, after Aiko passed away, they started fighting for the main role. They all rarely speak to each other now. That's intense. It's true that it does seem suspicious. Oh. So, did you gather all that information yourself, Kurumi? To tell you the truth, I joined the theater club after Aiko's death in hopes of finding out what really happened. Oh, so you're in the theater club. Really why why not you helping them right now? <laughs> I am. I won't give up until I discover the truth behind Aiko's death. She must have been devastated by the loss of her friend. But she still found a way to push herself forward. All this to find the truth. I see. Sometimes the truth can be a goal that helps you press onward. Then I need to do what I can to help her. I have to find the truth behind this case. Hmm. On the other hand, some truths make you want to die when you discover them. Really? Be quiet. Besides, even if that were the case, if I let the truth be buried like this, more bad things could happen. That's why I'm going to help her find the truth. It's my duty as a detective. Will you stop confusing detectives with heroes? <laughs> Regardless, I have nothing to do with this, so whatever. For someone who has nothing to do with it, you sure have some strong opinions. <laughs> She's you came at the right time. We're short-handed right now. We could use some help in the wings. You mind lending a hand? Huh? But I'm. 
Oh, don't mind me. I'll watch the stage from here. Then I'll go help. Let's meet back here once I'm done. Who's the cutie? A classmate? We... yeah. Something like that. Where have you been hiding such a cute girl? Why don't you invite her to the theater club? <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, the acting begin. Looks like it's about to begin. She said this would be just like the actual performance. I wonder what it's like. Kita? Hello, everyone! Wait, 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 before the theater club starts their performance, there's something I want everyone to hear. You're gonna make it's her my job. Song. I've You're gonna make so <laughs> got fire. Oh no. Here it goes. Give me the spotlight. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, he's so dumb. Yeah. How how now how begin How could he investigate anything with that attitude? Why would you do that, Desuhiko? What if they see through your disguise? Oh come on, man. What's wrong with a little fun? A star always wants to stand on stage. Two dumb you're guys together. <laughs> Even if your disguise is perfect, that was reckless of you. Oh, it's fine to be reckless and my disguise is perfect. Damn, I ruined my chance for an amazing debut. Anyway, the performance is about to start. I knew I would find you here, Natasha. I knew you would come, Anatoly. You have not changed at all in the past ten years. Nay, you have become even more beautiful. You, however, have changed. Your face is scarred and... You look stern. I've longed for the days we spent here together. Back then, the world shone bright in the colors of the rainbow. But now, the only world I see is colored with crimson draped in the blood of my fallen comrades. Behold, even my own hands are stained red. Yet, you are still pure, unchanged from that day. You really believe I have not changed? In truth, I had no choice in the matter. But because I did change, I chose to remain as I once was. I see. These ten years were long for us both, indeed. Within the tall, white walls, a clear fountain and colorful flowers decorated the garden. This garden was the world to these two young girls. They held hands and ran through the sunflower field. They sang to the blue sky and wore white clover crowns they had given one another. The sunset was ever golden. Even the rare rain glittered brightly. The world was perfect. Everything shone like the shimmer in a rainbow. At the very least, that was how it was within these walls. Aww. The two sisters, Anatoly and Natasha, were princesses of a 300-year-old kingdom to the far west. Since birth, they had never gone beyond the castle walls. Their youths were spent together alone. Hmm. Sisters by birth, really they had a happy life together. But one day, their peace abruptly ended.
a rebellion struck. The military took the castle and declared the start of a new nation. Royal family members who resisted were executed and their corpses hung in the garden. The castle walls were destroyed and the flowers trampled. Anatoly and Natasha escaped the castle at night thanks to their servants. But amidst the chaos, the two sisters were separated. Their hands brushed against each other. It would be the final time they ever touched. Natasha was hidden in a neighboring small nation. An ally of old, the princess was welcomed with the highest honor. One thing, are these uh, related to However, my investigation Anatoly or not? Anatoly continued her journey of escape <laughs> with the remaining members of the royal family. Anyway, They yeah. traveled the frontier to avoid pursuers as they searched for a land of peace. As they continued down this path, their comrades fell one after another. Ten years have passed since. Fifteen minutes in. Their performance is so intense in person, I can't take my eyes off the stage. <sighs> okay, this one is sleep. <sighs> this one also sleep. Oi. Was that Yoshiko? Maybe she went to the restroom. I took up the sword for the first time after I left the castle. It was also the first time I killed. Have you ever witnessed a soldier's dying moments? As blood flows from open wounds, all you'll hear is a death rattle. Men speak proudly of honor and pride. But those vanish when you're on the battlefield. 